Hey everybody, International Carl doing another video for you as always. This time, this is an important video guys, I really need you to pay attention and help me out here. This video is gonna do some good, so if you're seeing the thumbnail, you know what it's gonna be about. But I'm asking, I normally never ask outside of putting a little thing on the video, please hit the like button. I wanna try to get this video to 5,000 likes if possible. Hit a comment in the bottom, in the comment section. Tell me who your favorite teacher was or is and why they are so important to your life. What I wanna do with this video is, since it's a monetized video, this video is gonna do some good in the world. I'm going to take whatever the ad revenue from this video is and I'm going to donate it to a good cause. And so with your help, I need you to hit the like button because that sends this video out to more people. I need you to hit a comment because then that gets the algorithm thinking more people wanna watch this video. And then if you can, if you can, it's the one time I'm gonna ask, maybe I'll ask in the future, but share the video on Facebook or somewhere so others can see this. And so more importantly, let's talk about this at the house when I get to the house, but I need your help. This is a call to action to help because for those that know, I was in Dubai just last week. Today is Monday, whatever day it is. It's Monday, we got the, the wind kicking again. This is the second storm in the UK going on. So that just gives you the time frame. And my teacher passed away. One of my favorite teachers passed away, Mr. Ferrara. And this video is in his memory and his dedication. So I'm asking you, we're gonna talk about teachers and how they're underappreciated in the Western world. I can't speak for all the rest of the world, but I can speak for America, the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy. I've seen it with my own two eyes. So let's talk about it, but let's do that at the house. Let's go. Thank you for stopping by. My name is International Club. Please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Now let's get back to the video. And now we're back in the house. So as I said earlier in the car, this is going to be an important video because I want to talk to the teachers directly. I want to talk to those teachers because teachers are very important in a child's life, whether that's a primary, nursery school, all the way up to university. And it got me thinking with the quick passing or the untimely demise of my uh, teacher, Mr. Ferrara, it got me thinking about the great teachers that we have. And apparently, it's kind of obvious. Everywhere, as I've lived here in the UK, I see it in America as well. Teachers are just undervalued or underpaid. And that's kind of like the general kind of feel you get, right? Is that teachers are undervalued and, under, and underpaid and underappreciated. But I want to talk to the teachers right now and tell you that how much you mean to your students right now if you're having a bad day. And let's think about it because everybody here, whether you're watching right now, the day I release this, or you watch this sometime in the future, every teacher matters to a student. I can think of my third grade teacher, Mrs. Patterson, right now, that stayed with me, worked with me to learn my multiplication. You know, as I came from LA to move into the, the suburbs, into the Inland Empire, as it's called in Southern California, you know, I didn't want to feel stupid, but I could. I wasn't at the same level as all the other students when it came to multiplication. But Miss Patterson, what did she do? She stuck with me, got me to understand what was going on, worked with me to um, get my multiplication up to speed with the rest of the class as quickly as possible. But then think about it even more. There's teachers right now who are doing right now a service to these students. There's a there's a student right there, I know it, right now, doing some higher level math, sitting there screaming and pulling their hair out, saying, whose idea was it to put letters in math? Why is the slope of an equation, y equals mx plus b, what are all these letters supposed to mean and what does it mean? But they can't grasp it. But you, the teacher, you, you're gonna stay a little later. You're gonna work with them. You're gonna have them connect the dots to let that light bulb moment go off. Because you, the teacher, create the next engineer. You, the teacher, you create the next entrepreneur. You, the teacher, make the next politician. You, the teacher, make the next CEO. You, the teacher, make the inventor. You, the teacher. You do that and you play a vital role. I don't know what the solution is to 
pay you like a CEO. I don't know if society will ever get to such a level. But you, the teacher, are very important because what you do is you plant that seed in that child's mind. You plant a seed that it will grow into flowers. Sometimes it might spurt and grow really quick flowers. But then sometimes that teacher plants a seed and it grows and it pesters in their head. And maybe 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 years later, that seed has grown into a very strong tree. And it's bearing fruit for all to see. And it's become, and you can look back, and you can look back at a moment where a teacher has been influential in your life to make you get on that path that you find yourself on as you go through. So you play a vital role. And it got me thinking about Mr. Ferrara, why I'm doing this video. You know, Mr. Ferrara came from New York, and here we are in Southern California, heavy, thick New York accent. You know, we called him the Don. Because he had, you know, he wasn't like a mafioso guy, but he had that talk to us, that sound, you know, that you're not used to. But what did he do? He took a 17-year-old kid and several 17-year-old kids and took them on the way. And he had an ability to relate to you on your level. Some teachers, they talk down to you or they bring you up to their level. And when I say talk down to you, they come down to you or they bring you up to them and they can talk to you and have a way to break through whatever that barrier is. Because unfortunately, we have kids that come from all walks of life in terms of what's going on in the house and what the pressures are outside the house. You know, I was talking with somebody the other day, I think it was, I was talking to a police officer. Yeah, I was talking to a police officer, I was, here in the UK. Um, and we were having the discussion about where they patrol and how the kids, think that these drug dealers are something to be envious of. And that's a social pressure that these kids in these environments have. But you, the teacher, play a vital role in breaking that. Showing them, planting a seed that shows them that there is a better and a bigger horizon in front of them of what they can see. Because right now, all they can see is this. But you, the teacher, you, the teacher, play a vital role in informing them. Yes, the parents in the house play an important role, but you, the teacher, are with these children six, seven hours a day. And so you show them their horizon. And I can think of an example with Mr. Ferrara. You know, he got me into investing. He got me thinking about it years back in high school. But more importantly, I remember you know, going into university, it was the first day I was on campus. I remember coming out of my dorm, making a right, going down to the campus, um, and some white kid stopped me and he asked me a question and he said, oh, what sport do you play? But he said it in a way that it kind of came across like I didn't really belong at the university that I was at. And I can read people so I can get the tone and it really came across that way. And I remember calling him that night. And he gave me some advice and he said, you know, Carl, you're more than just an athlete. You're smart. You know, you will and can be somebody in the future. What you will do will be great. More or less the kind of conversation we have. But what he told me was he said, hey, the next time somebody asks you that question, he was like, what's the hardest major that they have at your school? And I was like, well, I'm studying engineering. Great. You make sure you tell people you are an engineer. That is what you do. And that's what I am. I've had struggles. I wasn't the world's greatest engineer in school. You know, I failed classes and struggled with classes, you know, but I had teachers. I had professors that literally worked with me, stayed a little longer to help me understand what was going on in my differential equations, help me understand what was going on in dynamics, the study of movement of objects, you know, working with me. So you, the teacher, play a vital role. You shape the minds of the future. I don't know if we're ever going to get to a point where we value you at the way of like Elon Musk or the leader of a Fortune 500 company. But there's a teacher right now that's probably going to see this video and I'm going to encourage you. Please keep going. Stop with that kid. Find that kid that you might think is, you know, maybe straying off because he's having external pressures. Or find that kid that isn't quite grasping in a math class, in a physics class. What in the world all these letters are doing inside of, uh, inside of math? They can't grasp it. 
But I promise you, if you take the time right now, right now, today, today, and you work with that child, you will spark something in them to make them great in the future. You might not ever see it. You might not ever see it, but you will plant a seed that will fester and grow with them and carry with them their entire life. And so I want to dedicate this video to Mr. Ferraro. May God rest his soul. May his family cherish his memory. And I miss him. Other things that he did for me. Well, again, I told you about the school, but then I also talked about quickly about the investment. He got me to think in the entrepreneurial spirit. He got me thinking about stocks. He got me thinking about bonds. Got me thinking about interest rates. Got me thinking about property owning. You know, he got me into that. So here was a seed that he planted 20 some odd years ago. And here I am, I fast forward. I own several properties. I own several businesses. You know, I'm an engineer. And he is a vital part amongst several teachers now that helped me along the way. Either course corrected me or worked with me till I got it. And for you teachers, please, I beg you to stick with it. The politicians around the world, and especially Western countries, they're just not gonna pay you like the next CEO. They're just not going to. But you make them. You make them the next CEO, the next business person, the next scientist, the next physicist, the next astronomer. You do it. You impart into them and show them a way and a horizon bigger than what is in front of them. Because unfortunately, not all kids come from the same type of background. There are kids struggling for food, struggling because in the house, or struggling because of the outside pressures. Stick with them. And I'm going to end this video with this last thing. One thing that I said that my brother CJ, who is a friend of mine, he's our class president, and we got to talking. What we're going to do for Mr. Ferrara, and I talked about this at the beginning of the video, is what we're going to do, we're going to start a nonprofit in his name, and you guys are going to help in this nonprofit because watching this video is how you're helping. Watch the ads. I take, I ask you now, go back, restart the video, Watch the ads. If it's a 30 second ad, watch it. Just watch it. All the ad revenue is going to go into this nonprofit. Okay? It's going to go in there. And what I've told CJ is I am going to fund the first uh, $5,000 up to five, up to the first $5,000 to the nonprofit organization to give out scholarships to kids. And so that's what we're going to do. You're going to help with that. And that's part of the journey. So what this video makes a dollar or makes $10,000, you, the viewer, are helping to change someone's life. And I want to thank you now. And we'll see what flowers this grows. You, the teacher, you plant the seeds that grow and bear fruit. You might not ever see it. Miss Patterson, I haven't seen her <laughs> for years, decades now, but I know she'd be proud. She planted the seed. She stayed. She worked with me. I can name several teachers like that. And so I thank you, teachers. I thank you for watching. I've seen the contrast between the U.S. and the U.K., and they're very similar in terms of the political experience about teachers' pay. So let me sign this video off before it gets too long, and let me say click right here to watch another one of my videos, and then click right here to subscribe to the channel. And with that, I will see you in the comments, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.